Hey guys, welcome to Safi Mixed. In this video, I am discussing the Mathematica code for generating data through for loop for plotting 3D figures. If you don't know the use of for loop in Mathematica, I would suggest you to watch my video titled for loop for proper guidance. With that said, let's move to the computer and see how the code works. So you see here, I am. I want to plot an exponentially decaying sinusoidal function as a function of two variables. Here I'm using x and y, and I'll fix the values of parameters a and b. And I'm assigning the whole function to p. Then I generate an empty list and assign the value of the list to g and then generate for loop over here and I would like to explain this a little bit. So here I assign the value of variable x starting from 0 and I set a equal to 2, b equal to 4. Then I put the condition on the values of a such that x is either lesser or equal to 2. And the next condition and the value of x is that it is varying in the steps of 0.2 and then I'm putting the function p. So with these values, I asked Mathematica to plot to, to generate the values of p for this range of x with increment 0.2. And then I asked Mathematica to append the value to the empty list g for p. If I run this part of the program, I get this value of the list g. So these are the values of the function for different choices of x. We see for x equal to 0, we have this thing and so on. And now I want to generate the values of the list g for different choices of y. For this purpose, I generate another empty list, which I assign the value of the empty list to h and generate another for loop for which I start the value of y from 0 and the maximum value of y I'm taking here to be 3 and then I change the value of y with increment 0.1 and I ask Mathematica to uh, generate the values g the value with respect to y and then I append the value of g to the empty list h. If I run this part, I'll get the value of h which I can show you over here. If I, it will be a very long list. Now you see, this is in fact a list of list. This is one sub list. So all these values correspond to y equals zero. Then this is another sub list and so on. So we have the final data in the form of a list of list. And this in fact is the required form of the data for plotting 3D figures. So I first delete this. Now I want to plot the value of h through the command plot 3, list plot 3D. I'm feeding h as the argument to list plot 3D and ask Mathematica to plot it for the whole range. If I run this, I'll get the required form of the data. So this is in fact sinusoidal along this axis and decaying along this axis. So this this axis represents the value of x and this axis represents the values of y. It is sinusoidal along y axis and decaying along x axis. So this way you can generate data through for loop for plotting 3D figures.